This is a concept car. Usually alien looking, has crazy technology, and absolutely stunning to look at. That is exactly why we are looking at the craziest concept cars in the world in this video. The design and technological features of boring normal cars are influenced by regulation, company objectives, and market demand. Boring. This means concept cars liberate car designers and allow them to dream up ideas and absolutely push the boundaries without any of the limitations of having to follow the rules. This is why concept cars are often unconventional designs, many of which will never make it to production. Car manufacturers also use concept cars to gauge customer reaction to new car designs and to determine if such designs will be viable in the market. Some of the cars we will show today range from a car that can transform like a transformer to a car that looks like it can be an alien spaceship. So make sure to buckle in and watch till the end. Well, enough talk. Let's get straight to it. Let's take a look at the craziest concept cars the world has ever seen. This is the 2016 Faraday Future FF01. This car is absolutely crazy. It comes with a helmet that you can wear that feeds oxygen and water from the push of a button. This is meant for racers who have to do long 24 hour races. It even has a slot for your phone in the center of the steering wheel. That way you can watch Money Vibes videos while you drive. In the front of the car there are these huge openings that go all the way back to the back of the car. Not only meant for aerodynamics but also to cool down the car's battery. Did I mention this car is electric? This fin at the the back actually lights up so you can put whatever you want on it whether it's your name your team's name absolutely whatever you want this car is meant for racing so it has an astonishing 1000 horsepower take a look at the 2020 Renault Morphos this car does something you have never seen a car do before it transforms you could literally own a transformer the front and back both extend each way so you can have an elongated version of the same car now you might be thinking money vibes that that's cool and all, but what's the point? This is meant for both room inside the car and more space to fit batteries. Their idea is to have these little platforms all around the city where you just drive onto them and it inserts the batteries for you in a matter of seconds. And then you just drive off. I also find this hilarious. They even have a ruler at the front of the car to tell you how much the car is extended. The front can extend up to 25 centimeters and the back can extend an additional 15 centimeters. This car has absolutely no no door handles. Want to know how to get into the car? Your face. This car has facial recognition to unlock it. To open the door, you basically just use hand movements. Here's another form of engineering. The floor is actually made of recycled yogurt cups. Mm, is this organic? Also, remember the whole transformer thing? Well, the inside does that too. With the chairs, you can now face the backseat passengers. Now, this is the coolest part in my opinion. Once you place your phone on the armrest, the wood almost kind of sucks your phone into the car. Once it recognizes your phone, the dashboard starts to activate. The car actually connects to your phone and its calendar, so it knows exactly what you're doing that day and where you're heading. Kind of creepy, but really cool. The steering wheel is almost this Star Trek technology and you actually control everything from the steering wheel as you have nothing else in the center other than your phone. This is the meanest French supercar you will ever lay your eyes on. The 2008 Citroen GT and boy is it loud. <laughs> This car was actually made for a video game, Gran Turismo on PS3 in 2008. When you enter the car, you have to open up its butterfly doors. When you first lay your eyes on the inside of the car, you instantly start looking at the copper surroundings on the interior. And man, is it freaking cool. This car is basically a spaceship. You have to actually press this button at the top to put it in first gear. Once you press the button, it'll show you which gear you're in on this little display screen. To start the car, you flip up both the kill switches at the same time time and press a button at the side of the seat. You also have about 20 different switches which are for lights, air conditioning, wipers, race mode, radio, etc. The back of the car looks like nothing I've ever seen. It was specifically built like this to intimidate your competition in a race. I think it does its job pretty nicely. Even look at these side mirrors. They almost look like they're floating. The feedback was so amazing for this car back in 2008 that they were actually thinking about making
making some limited edition ones for the public. Sadly, the car did not make it to the public. I mean, if you saw this car, you would have never thought it would have been made in 2008. It kind of looks like it could be made in 2050. If they did end up making this car into a production car, it said it would have cost around $2 million to purchase. This car's inspiration was actually from the movie Avatar. You know, the movie with all the blue people in the future? This is the 2020 Mercedes Avatar. I mean, just looking at the back, it actually looks like a creature that is alive. All the tiles move with the car. When you're driving, all the tiles will move down and turn blue, but as soon as you stop, they turn red and lift up almost as like an air brake. And as you're going around corners, the tiles will also follow left to right to which way you're turning to better the airflow. At the back of the car, it almost has these warp speed lights at the back, so as you go faster in the car, so do the lights. The wheels also glow with these neon blue lights and are also used as turn indicators. When you first enter the car, there is this alien-like module that you put your hand on. Once the car recognizes you have your hand on it, it'll start to pulsate and match your heartbeat. This is also how it knows exactly which person is sitting in the driver's seat and match the settings to the driver. We are officially in the future. This little module is also how you control the car. This little thing is the steering wheel. And guess what? The car can move sideways, almost like a crab. This is the definition of a UFO car. It's called the low res car. Because if you would have put this car, a Lamborghini Countach, in a 1980s video game, it would look like this. You have the dashboard right here and this is where you also enter the key, turn on the car, open and close the canopy, interior lights, almost kind of like a spaceship. This car was made to promote cool looking electric cars so it's fully electric and emission free. If you go to the back of the car you can turn on the UN logo which I think looks pretty cool. The UN stands for United Nude which is a pretty weird name but they make cool cars so I guess I'm cool with it. Once you're inside you have a 360 degree glass glass view everywhere you look, which looks absolutely amazing when you're driving, but I think it looks even cooler from the outside. Which concept car was your favorite? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see one of the most expensive car collections, which cost over $3 billion, make sure to check out this video and I'll see you guys next time. Mm, is this organic?